Chicago, Illinois is one of the world's great basketball cities. And tonight, Chicagoans get a close-up look at the planet's number one team. For just more than a week before Team USA's Rio Olympic debut, the red, white, and blue are here by the lake for the fourth of their five pre-Olympic exhibitions. You're watching USA Basketball presented by Nike, the U.S. men's team against Venezuela from the United Center defines this U.S. roster. Let's take a look at the Gatorade starting lineups tonight. Fourth different starting lineup for Team USA, which has Butler playing on his home floor tonight along with Kyrie Irving, DeMarcus Cousins, who we spoke about, Kevin Durant, and Carmelo Anthony. The big news for Venezuela, they are also shorthanded. Uh, easily their best player and certainly their best known player to American audiences. Gravis Vasquez has been shut down by the Brooklyn Nets and he will not play tonight and in fact will not play in the Olympics either. Vasquez is very disappointed about the, the decision but from a health point of view he played just 23 games last year after undergoing surgery. Good evening. On behalf of all of USA Basketball, we want to thank y'all for y'all's continued support. As we take this thing to Brazil, I know that we want to make each and every one of you Americans proud. It's a task at hand, but we want to continue this winning tradition and bring home gold for us and for y'all. So thank you again and enjoy the game. Olympics, which is quite a story in and of itself, going back to last year, the FIBA Americas tournament along the way. Good crowd on hand in Chicago. Ready to see Team USA and Venezuela. And the U.S. wins the tip with Carmelo Anthony handling it and handing off to Kyrie Irving. America's tournament. Off on the three-pointer. Durant the other way. Quickly in transition. And the U.S. is on the board 2-0. And, and this is where the U.S. can thrive in the open court. Getting the defensive rebound, securing it, and getting out in transition. Getting easy baskets. About the way this lineup is put together as Butler tries his first shot and makes it. Back comes Venezuela. It's the veteran Cox hounded by Durant. Out of bounds on USA. And you love that effort. You've seen defensively as a big guy as well who can defend multiple positions. Cousins lost his shoe there briefly. That was the delay. Durant with the outlet off the miss. Beautiful look from Kyrie Irving. Butler traveled before he got the shot up. And it all goes for naught. Touch for him. And down to Durant. Double comes. Irving swings it. Mello for three. Tapped out by Butler. Back to Irving. That will fall. Kyrie Irving. About there, and Kyrie Irving knocking it in. Three buckets by three different Americans here so far. It's stark contrast to what we saw Monday night with, with Kevin Durant up after the Venezuelan bucket, and he's waiting in transition. Gregory Vargas knocked down the bucket as more of a defensive uh, center, likes to play screen and roll. Cousins likes to do his damage in the low post. So, what luxury to have that flexibility. Uh -huh for Venezuela and we talked in the opening about quick starts and right now Venezuela they they feel good about themselves as Connor cuts down another three-point shot this, this is a 10-1 Venezuela run and a two-point lead Mello to tie it once again Team USA centers extending the possession John Jay Jordan with a tough yes. offensive rebound and Kyrie Irving one is patented the other three. Uh, two of the other three played right here at the United Center. Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen, who was uh, at the ballpark last night when we went to see the White Sox and Cubs. Right. And LeBron James is the third. Grotter roll off. The turnover by the U.S., but that's wiped away by Carmelo Anthony. And the U.S. wants to push. Mello. To a trailing Kevin Durant that couldn't get it to fall. Durant will go to the free throw line. See the general manager yep. of, the, of, of Canada and Andrew Wiggins, Corey Joseph. I mean, you have a lot of Dwight Powell. Kelly, o, Kelly Olynyk had 34 in that game. Kelly Olynyk, another one. So that shows you good right here now. John Cox is feeling it here in Chicago. Leads all scores now with 10 points is Thompson. And gets it into Kyle Lowry, also just subbed in. Lowry will take it himself against the roll as the U.S. goes up 18 to 12. On their team, respective teams in the NBA, it's a must. But DeAndre Jordan plays a little 
volleyball up there on the rim. He's got a handle. And uh, that kind of effort is going to prove successful here for Team USA. Cox still hasn't missed. Gives it up this time to Kubion. Gets himself into the game. He's going to shoot. I thought he was too. <laughs> and he will this time. Clay Thompson short on the three. Again tapped out by the United States. This time by Draymond Green. Thompson patiently to the corner. Draymond for three. Well short. Lowry will try the three. Rattles in and out. Thompson shows off the range for the offensive board. Inside the Obviously, Spain a few years ago with the Gasol brothers is a, a team that comes to mind, but they're getting up there in age, and obviously injuries is Jordan with another block. And right here, DeAndre Jordan, just throw it up to him. Maybe want to wrap him up on that play, but no, DeAndre finishes at the rim, and then right here, this is where he makes his living. Don't shoot in front of me, young. Do you know who I am? Uh, talk about exhibition games. Venezuela, Venezuela, they won't see a team quite like this team here. A combination of size and speed, talent. It's Kyrie Irving just him seven now. Venezuela is just one of their last 11 from the field. That'll let him stream. And it's a little long. Back comes Irving. Carson's extra step. That is a trap. That was definitely a travel. You got to love the effort. Cousins getting out in the open court. But just got to put the ball on the floor first, big fella. Yeah, I don't know. I think shackling a fool is not. <laughs> they don't have the USA I don't basketball think there's an edition. I don't think there's an Olympic edition <laughs> yet. Comfortable either on the offensive end. But well, Other than John Cox, Team Venezuela is now 2 of 20 from the field. That's no shot. Much confidence after. Uh, such a stellar play there in the last year's playoffs. But just look, that's, that's George Gerving ish right there. Just <laughs> nice little finger. And right now, Carmelo Anthony at the center position, but Coach K moves him around the power forward center. As Melo lost it, it goes as a shot clock violation, if nothing else. It will be a shot clock violation as Melo couldn't handle it. And I got to give this team, Venezuela, some credit. I mean, defensively in the half court, they're competing. They're not backing down. Going to not only keep them in games, but win them a ton of games, even if the offense isn't working for them. Here's Cox. And the one guy who's been able to score for Venezuela. High arcing shot. Beautifully done. That's good. John Cox playing. A lot of confidence right now. 12 points now for Cox. And Durant is way off in the three-point attempt. Butler with the offensive board as he's stuck with it. Back to Mello. He'll try the three. That short, Irving. Back to KD. Off again. It bounces around. Irving is diving toward us to keep it alive. Unable to do so. And back to Team Venezuela as the United States is now just 2 of 16 from three-point range. We love the effort. The attempts on the offensive glass. Kyrie Irving diving on the floor. I mean, just sacrificing his body here, trying to make the save for the play, almost diving into your life. Sons and daughters and mothers, fathers, um, and what these athletes have done is embrace them because what it helps them understand is what it means. Right here you can just eeny, meeny, miny, mo in terms of who gets the ball. <laughs> Well, in this case, eeny, meeny, miny, Carmelo. Carmelo. Lay up there. Kubion at the buzzer. Off the glass, no good. Pulling up Venezuela. And for Venezuela, John Cox was the story. He scored 12 of their 18 points. No one else could score. DeAndre Jordan. With the ball moving right here. High screen and roll. Clay Thompson. He didn't hold it for long. Cross court. Great seal inside by DeAndre Jordan. And when he gets the ball down there, how much you can do. Beating the shot clock is Nestor Colmenares. No arc on the shot. It looked like Vargas walked there on that yes, play. Yes, it did. Instead, he gets the shot. It's well off. I'm with you. That looks like a travel. A lot of the United States shots miss the rim on the short jumper, but disrupts that pass attempt. DeRozan to the rim. Left hand is good for DeMar DeRozan. Seven. Yes. Wow. So. The rest of the team not as not as good. <laughs> uh, two of 27 by my math. That'll fall. 
exhibition games. It's almost like the preseason in the NBA, where after the you know the, the, the fifth or sixth game, you're ready for the real games to start. Thompson leaks out for the easy two. K really emphasizes his communication, talking, almost over talking, particularly on defense. We haven't really seen that here. Uh, at the end of the first half and start of the second half. No, it's been literally and figuratively a quiet night for the United States so far. Cousins is back in there. Jordan exited in that substitution. We have a foul before DeMar DeRozan could do something spectacular at the back end. Points. We got a lot of point guards in the NBA that right now that can score the ball. They were really naturally twos when they was in college, and now they just turn into ones in the pros, and they can score the basketball. How, how are the Chicago fans treating you so far tonight? to control the clock, control tempo, and uh, and obviously be effective on both ends of the floor. But you got to hit shots like that. Vargas could not connect. Jose Vargas for three, that'll fall. Still down by 23 here in the final moments of the third quarter. Mello to Cousins might have traveled again. That one was not called. A 25-point lead, final seconds here of the third quarter. Vargas poked free by Irving. Butler around the back. He'll pull up for three at the buzzer. And it's short, like so many other shots tonight for the... Here's Durant. Big step. And that's a goaltend. As it was knocked away off the rim by Colmenares. And I don't know if he needed to go to him. It looked like he was going to miss it. It was going to be short anyway. Like the ball might have slipped out of Durant's hands. Energy tonight of eliminating any sort of potential highlight for the United States whenever possible. There's Vargas and one. Jose Vargas with a strong move off the glass and good for the 34 year old veteran of 39 games with the Venezuelan senior team going back to 2007. First foul on Kevin Durant. Harrison Barnes wears number eight, brings it up to the United States. Open floor ahead of him, tried the lob to Cousins, just not, not in sync and high over Cousins' head. Turnover for the United States and back. Uh, yes, you do. They got a lot of stuff. <laughs> you have the inside stuff. Oh, there you go. A promotional opportunity for Grand Hill. Cross court. High off the glass. No good. Kept alive by Ruiz. And finally it goes for Dwight Lewis. Nicely done. Fallen into poverty in Venezuela. They'll be cheering on that team regardless of the results. And the reason to cheer for the U.S. fans now with Jordan trailing the play and throwing it down on the break. DeAndre Jordan waking up the crowd here in Chicago. We expected a lot more of that here tonight. <laughs> Payback. That'll affect the franchise a little bit. Oh, yeah. Lowry to Barnes. He couldn't quite get a clean handle on, but eventually lacked flow offensively. Echenique lost it off the post, but the U.S. gives it right back to Vargas. Vargas to Echenique. Hard to the rim and a good finish by the big fella. That's his first bucket. Two points for the former Creighton Blue Jays. Clay Thompson in transition. Town as Harrison Barnes airballs his, his pull-up jump shot. You shoot 39% from the field, and you're up by 30. Cox has it wiped away by Jordan. That's an off uh, goaltend on Jordan, who disagrees with the call. Ruling was that it had touched the backboard first, and Jordan just looked over at us and said, I got that. I don't know, Mr. Jordan. That looked like a good call right there. Draymond Green out of the post on the smaller Vargas spins and finishes. They played an opponent that wasn't up to, up to speed. And... Oh, that's a highlight for America. It's a good way to cool. Kyle Lowry somehow tapped that back to Jimmy Butler. What a play by Lowry. Wow. And a finish by the hometown Chicago Bulls, Jimmy Butler. Off on the three, up against the shot clock. Back comes the U.S. United States plus 26 in the paint. This will be from outside. It's Thompson stroking it from three. Clay now three of seven from the great beat. Vargas guarded by Lowry. Got past him, threw it away. Thompson ahead. Here comes to Martin Rosen. Windmill.
DeMar DeRozan gave us a little preview of what he's capable of on Tuesday night when he missed on an attempted 360 dunk when he was fouled. Wide open floor from the mayor of DeRozan. The DeMar DeRozan, DeRozan gave us a little preview of what he's capable delivered. of. 80 to 45. The United States finally did climb up on 40% shooting, 42.4 to be exact. But just four of 25 from three-point range. It was a grind all night long. But the red, white, blue move to 4-0 on their exhibition schedule with a date in Houston against Nigeria coming up on Monday. We'll be back from Chicago to wrap it up after this. Four of 25 from three-point range and just 42% on the night overall. But they win it 80-45. to Next stop, Houston against Team Nigeria on Monday night.